two, 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 two. It is, don't let the weather deceive you. It is very cold up here and windy. I've got my lucky traveling hat on for good reason. We have no first aid supplies. So if anything goes wrong, I am really screwed because there is no one out here. And I'll be recording my last memoirs into this camera. <laughs> So I left London three hours ago and now I'm greeted by this. Bloody top notch. Look at this. It's ridiculously beautiful. <gasps> There's a tiny hidden beach. Oh, that's the tiny hidden beach. Okay, so you will go down this steep path all the way down there. I think I'm the, uh, the only one here. This is brilliant. All right, let's go. Oh dear, there's a river. Glad I brought my hiking boots. That's all I can say. Oh, that's a shame. Look at the rubbish. Oh well, let's keep going. Down the waterfall, let's try not to slip. I'm getting attacked by bushes. Oh dear, I've just realised we've got to come back up with all this stuff on. Oh, it's good Sherpa training, isn't it? <laughs> Woo. Yeah, there's no way you could do things like this when you're like 60, 65, because it's just, it's just way too dangerous. I mean, for, okay, maybe not for every 65 year old, but like for the majority of them, this is going to be really dangerous for them. They can't just do this while talking to the camera, you know? So that's why I decided to kind of be sensible with the fire movement and also go traveling at the same time. So I'm just keeping an eye out for my footing. Otherwise, this is going to be very painful. And yeah, almost down. Okay, so I'm just making a plan because of the tides. I don't really know what the tidal situation is. So if we get a cut off here, we know there's an escape route at the back here that we can climb up. So there you go, you've got to always bear these things in mind when you're around the sea. So I'm getting very conscious of the fact that I'm out here. I don't know if the tide's coming in or if the tide's going out. So I'm going to be very aware and probably make a hasty exit in a second. Just because I don't want to be that guy that has to be rescued by a helicopter on his first day. Although that would make for an amusing story. Probably not the best thing to be doing on your first day in your old hometown. Right. Let's get a few more shots and things. Um, we will go to the lighthouse which is just over there Okay, it is a lot harder with all the gear to go up than it is to go down, but nice and steady, one step at a time, and we'll get to 100. Nice and easy. No need to personal best, 
Just need to come out of this alive. Okay, now for the hike up. Oh, Lord. I think I've given myself a hernia, but we've made it Ooh, to the top. Maybe that's just a stitch. Probably it's just a stitch of me being dramatic. Me, dramatic. Um, yeah. Bloody beautiful down there. Ooh, love it. It's absolutely astonishing, apart from all the litter that some a-holes are left behind. Ooh. Here we go, this is a bit better. So you can see that little dip thing I just came up, this whoop, that I've, I lost my footing somewhere up here. And uh, well, let's just say, I wish I was wearing my brown trousers for that one. Because uh, either way, it's a nasty fall. So yeah, let's go. Um, yeah, it's very beautiful up here. Just everywhere you look, there's just new beauty everywhere. From animals, to cliff tops. Anyway, you probably can't even hear me right now because the wind is so bad up here. But yeah, let's go have a bit of a wander. <laughs> That's where I got my brown trouser award. <laughs> oh, luckily the boots were covered for me. Thank you very much Regatta for saving my life. So, made it down to the lighthouse. As you can kind of see in the background, but you're not allowed in because it's private property or something. So there you go, I think that's the best photo I'm going to do. Because I have no idea how to get around there and it looks a lot of effort. There you go ladies and gents, just for you I have been wandering around this really really horrible path of just sheer distraining. No, I'm not really, I'm joking. It's absolutely beautiful, look at this. And it's to bring you a shot this there we go we're going to start the trek back to the castle i think so we got dropped off the summit we went down to that lighthouse took a really nice picture of it and now we're walking back along the trail uh, to the castle and the main station and then we're going to Dublin get into our room have a shower because I'm very freaking sweaty fecking I should say very fecking sweaty and then yeah be all good go out for some Irish stew or something another proper Guinness we Sorry, that was remarkably childish. Okay, yeah, now I'm a bit sad and gutted because this would be really nice to do as a couple, but obviously I'm a single main. So this is kind of gutting on that front there. I'm in such a beautiful, lovely, idyllic spot. No one to share it with apart from my 20 loyal viewers here. So thank you very much for keeping me company on this lonesome single journey through these beautiful, beautiful hilltop hills. Now I don't know why it is, but when I walk along a cliffside like this, where there's like a steep drop, I feel so much more safer than when I was in like Lisbon at the top of that, I know, that towery thing. I don't know what it is. I know that this is not safe. I could trip, I could fall, the ground could give under from beneath me. I could go Ooh, straight down that hill. But for some strange reason, I feel safer here. Thank feck, there it is, there's the harbour. Finally, we've seen it. Been tracking for ages, well, probably about 20 minutes. But still, this bag is really heavy, it's dropped down to one arm now. So I'm gonna give this arm a rest and then I'm gonna flick it over in a second. Good 
You honestly shouldn't come to Ireland for the booze. You should come for the views. Look at that. Fucking amazing. Just really nice to wander around. It's not too cold anymore. It's kind of a sharp cold. And now I just walked into a wind tunnel, so I don't even know if you can hear me. But still, this is just, just so nice and beautiful just to keep walking around and relaxing. Just strolling my way through the old country. I don't know what it is, but I just have this need to get to the end there and just touch the pole. I don't need to touch the pole. I have no ambition to come and complete this. I just, I just need to finish it. Just need that. I don't know what the word is. Satisfaction. And I got there and I touched the end. And this is the lovely view. But now we need to make it to the fort, which is somewhere, I want to say over there. So more walking. Tempted by sufficient chips. However, because of that last experience, I'm a little bit put off. Yeah, those, those, they were nasty. So I may have turned a bit grumpy because I'm having to haul all this stuff around. My shoulders are killing. And now I've got to walk up a hill to a castle. So before that, I had some fish and chips, which were really lovely, actually, really fresh. You could tell it was fresh as well. And now I'm back in it, and now I'm a little bit more grumpy. So now I'm going to walk all the way up this hill to this castle. I mean, I could come back, but yeah, let's get it done today. Let's get this whole area done, then we don't have to come back. Then we can just concentrate on other areas. Now this looks cool. Okay, so that's kind of a bum loss. This kind of looks like private property that they don't want people going in or near. So I'm gonna respect that and just keep walking. But there you go. Pretty bummed out. This is a bar up here. Might try that. I think it's just a golf course. It's a privately owned castle, which you unfortunately can't have a tour of. Well, that is a major letdown because I was actually looking forward to going and seeing a castle. But now, I just have to make do with uh, just staring at one from the outside. I mean, there's a golf club up here with a bar, but I'm not sure how much I actually want to do that. Oh, yeah, sod that. I mean, if you can see that, there's the castle and then. Right at the top is the golf club. No, 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 mate. We're not having that. I'm going. I'm going. Getting out of here. I don't want to go to a golf club to have a beer. I want to go have a beer in a castle. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean if you're going to have a beer, would you rather have a beer in a castle or at a golf club? Uh, castle. Hand down. Here's a little advice. Free advice from a traveller. Put a bar or a restaurant or something down the bottom here. Make people want to come up here instead of just looking at the outside. <laughs> Of your thing, maybe make it a night themed pub or something. I don't know, yeah, it doesn't have to be too tacky, you can modernize it. As in, what would the Templars do with a modern day bar now? That'd be cool, but you know, <laughs> see, you could die. I'm moody, I'm gonna get the train to the hotel. There you go, first attraction I'm disappointed with. This is Castle, Hogworth Castle, whatever it is. Awful, nah, it's not even worth coming up here for. All right, let's go off to Dublin.